Welcome to another Detector Testers Toolbox Talk tip. This week I'm going to look at why some smoke detectors re-alarm after testing, which leads to increased test time per site. Nuisance re-alarms occur when the smoke detector under test reactivates due to lingering or excessive smoke still in the chamber. Sometimes this can mean an extra few minutes per detector, other times it can last half an hour or even more. Nuisance rear alarms are more likely to be caused when testing with a smoke aerosol canister, particularly if used by hand. Increasing the test time per detector, which soon adds up over the whole site. We'll explore why this is and what can be done about it later on. Not all fire detection systems are the same. Some systems also reset after a test, whereas others require the engineer to carry out a reset from the fire panel. In extreme cases, multiple resets may be required before the smoke detector chamber finally clears and the engineer can move on to test the next detector. Here are six factors that impact how quickly the smoke in a detector chamber clears. Number one, some smoke detectors have gauzes to prevent insects entering the chamber and causing false activation. The downsides of this gauze is the fine mesh can also keep the test smoke in the chamber for longer, causing the detector to reactivate. Number two, lower ambient temperatures, that's below 15 degrees C, can mean that the test smoke is slower to evaporate, which means it can linger in and around the detector chamber for longer and can cause reactivation. Optimum aerosol canister temperature range is between 15 and 25 degrees C. Number three, areas of slow or no air movement, such as domes or small spaces, can mean that the smoke stays within the chamber longer, also causing reactivation. Number four, over application of test smoke via the operator. As detector activation times have been increasing to counteract false alarms, there is more of a possibility of the user over applying the test smoke from an aerosol canister. Number five, Aerosol smoke canisters from detector testers include canisters specifically designed for either use by hand or within a dispenser. It's important to note that the solo aerosols are optimised for use in the Solo 330 dispenser. They're not designed for use by hand. Use in this way wastes smoke, contaminates the detector and can lead to nuisance real alarms. And finally, number six, if you require a handheld uh, smoke test solution, then we have Smoke Saber with its unique design, which prevents the use too close to the detector, which eliminates both the risk of contamination and nuisance re alarms. So, how can we minimize the impact of nuisance re alarms? Reading the instructions on the side of the canister really does help, so make sure you do that. Be aware of detector integrating times. Be patient, the newer designs have much longer times to alarm. Use less aerosol smoke, be frugal with it. Also be aware of the temperature impact. A canister temperature has an impact on the performance. So now you know how to minimize the effect of nuisance re alarms. But what about if you want to completely eliminate the problem? This is where you need to look to the capsule or cartridge based solutions that control the smoke release and include a clear air feature that removes any lingering smoke from the detector chamber and eliminates that wasted time caused by nuisance re alarms. Both Testifier and the Solo 365 include a clear feature which will save you valuable time per site. I'll put a link below in the description for you to find out more information. Well, I hope you found that information useful. If you want to know more or perhaps sign up for one of our two hour online CPD training courses, see our website or the description below. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell to receive notifications about future videos. And as always, if you have been watching, thanks for watching.